Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Norma Prize for another episode of Homeworld Hardcore, where we are playing the Titan campaign. And we have made it to Mission 6, which as you can see, um, there's a lot of asteroids coming in. I might have gone just a little bit crazy on the asteroids, but uh, it'll be fun. Let's see. Let's see if we can get through this without actually losing our entire fleet. Uh, oh my god. Yep, there's a lot coming in. Hyperspace jump successful. Boop. Support command acknowledged. We haven't cleared the asteroid field. Prepare for collisions. It's a big field. Incoming asteroids must be destroyed before they impact with the mothership. Ignore the fact you can't see it. Concentrate fire within this collision envelope. It'll fix itself later. Hopefully. Hopefully it will. Anyways, um... Assaults. Um, I need you... Uh, supports. I need to move you guys over here. You. Oops, that was the wrong button. Research ship, stay behind. Same thing with harvesters, stay behind the mothership. Now, modifications I made for these, um, each one of these little rocks do 100,000 damage, meaning um, they can one-shot anything that is in your mothership. So let's get everyone in position. Well, anything that isn't super capital class or the mothership. And the mothership can survive Research 12 hits. Reports it is now equipped for ion cannon technology. Hey. We advise commencing research immediately. Let's get defense sub defender Commencing subsystems. Defender subsystem research. We'll start researching ion cannons. All right. Now plasma bombs are extremely effective against these rocks, which means we need to get our group of attack bombers out to help us out. Launching. All right. How are we looking? This is also the first time I've tried this with the Titan mothership. I usually test this with the Kushan mothership, so I'm kind of doubly terrified of what's actually going to happen. Reporting. Establishing X formation. You boys get up there. Awaiting a sign word that's confirmed. Alright. So far we're doing pretty good. Ready for orders. You boys keep the mothership alive. Reporting for duty. And uh, yeah, we need to start clearing up. Clearing an area out. We're making sure that none of these rocks hit our ships. But yeah, I went a little bit crazy on this mission because it I, it always bothered me that we only had to defend like this small little area. So I made it to where it's like an actual giant asteroid field that would probably stop the um, hyperspace inhibitor or a hyperspace module. Because the other one, we could just easily just jump over here and then jump here and then be done. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing with the mothership? We seem to be doing okay so far. Acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Engaging. Boys, start engaging that. Um, let me just double check. I think this is on a collision course with the mothership, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Go, boys, go. Well, we lost one of our um, attack bombers. Oh, resource controller. Yeah, you need to move too. Stay over here. Here we go. Good job, good job. Boys, take care of that one. As you can see, attack bombers are very effective against these. Our main line is just the plasma bombs. For some reason, they do so much damage against these rocks. Nothing has gotten through. There is one right here that looks like it's getting close. There we go, there we go. Now 
Nice. Let's target this one. The boys move over here so you don't get hit by the rock. There you go. But I believe... I believe our attack... Our soul frigates have, yeah, 85,000 health. And these guys do 100,000 uh, damage. And it make To me, that makes total sense that they... Would, um... That they would uh, destroy one of our assault frigates because of the fact the rocks are bigger than our ships. All right, everything still looks good. I'm gonna take care of that one, make some room for us. Oh, jeez. Let's go ahead. I think we can handle this with just the assault frigates, honestly. Yeah, maybe. Destination confirmed. Put you boys over here. I don't want to lose all of my attack bombers because I keep running into the asteroids. There we go, there we go. How are we doing? Um, we are almost halfway through. And so far, the mothership has not been hit by any rocks whatsoever. Um, maybe. Underway. All right. Left on target. Attack that one. How's our fleet behind everything doing? Looks like we're all doing good. Um, nothing looks like it's on its way to hit the research ship. I'm going to move it up just in case. Defender subsystem research complete. Defender available for construction. Commencing hey. iron cannon research. And we'll talk about defenders here in a bit, but I have modified them a little bit to have more attack speed. Um, so Anna have more faster bullet speed, so they can actually hit their targets. Nice, nice. I want you boys to be a little more in front of the mothership. So far, we I think we're doing good. We're, we're uh, flawless at the moment. We haven't actually killed it, or actually haven't gotten the mothership hit by anything yet. Honestly, just trying to keep her fleet from getting hit by the rocks is uh, more the more of a challenge in this map now. Which is why I made so many rocks on this map. Because um, uh, the challenge used to be where you had to worry about um, your mothership dying from the rocks coming in. Now it's more like you have to use evasive maneuvers to make sure you don't lose your fleet inside the asteroid, asteroid field. Which to me would be uh, more of a problem than um, what the original would be. Nice, nice. Target confirmed. Cool. And again, nothing is coming after our ships back here. Nope, looks like we're all good. It is kind of hard to tell with all the rocks around, but that is kind of the point. And so far, it looks like we're doing good. This might be flawless. Because I believe right there, I mean, we're about three quarters of the way through. Cool. Yeah, we're just about flawless. 
cool. I feel like this mission's a little bit easier on the Titan side, just because when I designed this mission, I designed it with the Kushan mothership in, um, in mind, not the Titan mothership. So there's more of them going like up and down. There may be some like, slight modifications I need to make on this mission to make it harder to lose, but um, I like this one. This was one of my favorite ones I got to design. So far it looks like everything in the back is good. Nice. Um, that one there might hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit the mothership. Yeah, there it goes. Mothership. And the mothership took a big chunk of damage from that one. And start healing. Um, and I think, yeah, we're pretty good. We're pretty good to go. That one's gonna miss, it looks like. These ones over here look like they're gonna miss as well. Not bad. Alright, we'll destroy that one. And yeah, I think that's good. We've cleared the asteroid field. Alright, let's speed up the game because I don't think anything else is really going to happen because I think all of these guys are clear. We are good to go. Mothership. We only had, I think, two? Yeah, we only had two asteroids at the mothership. And those those last two near the end. Alright. Awesome. Iron cannon research complete. Iron cannon frigate available for construction. Oh yeah, because we didn't get iron cannons on mission four. We don't get super capitals on this mission. Dang. Okay. That's fine. We probably won't be using them next mission anyways. We've cleared the field. Hey. Detecting incoming Bentuzi vessel from the clearing ahead. Hello, Mr. Benduzzi. What are you doing this fine, fine evening? Greetings. We have come to trade. Oh, what are we waiting? Defense fields. Oh yeah, we're tight in. We get these instead of the drone frigates. Nice. Defense field technology is employed by the... Field frigate to redirect enemy projectiles. Nice. This is a dangerous and unpredictable region. Can you give us information that will guide us through the nebula? We hear nothing there. Even the Kushan fear the Great Nebula. We sure do. Returns. The Kushan are terrified of that place. Bye, Bentuzi! Nice talking to you. Hyperspace module fully charged. All right, that mission is complete. Now, I have put some resources on this mission. Um, you have a little bit over there and a little bit over here. It's not a whole lot. I think it's like maybe two, three, maybe 4,000 at the most. Um, this is to help replenish some of your fleet from the last mission, and of course if you lose some of your, your fleet from the um, the asteroids. It's used to do that as well. Now you can harvest this anytime. You can harvest it while the asteroids are going through if you want to, um, but you will have to keep an eye on your harvesters, because if one of your harvesters runs into one of those moving asteroids, it will be instantly destroyed. So that's a risk you can take, or you can do what I do, and wait to clear the mission to where all the asteroids are no longer in those areas, and then harvest it like that. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and harvest the map, 
And then after that, we'll see how many resources we have and get ready to go to the next mission. So I'll be right back. Okay, um, we are done harvesting the map. We have 10,700 RU, so I think that was about about 4,000. We got about 4,000 RU's from harvesting those two dust cloud areas. So again, not much, but it is just a little bit of a buffer to help you build more of a fleet and get ready to fight the Kadash. So... Without further ado, and I love I love how these are still slowly moving at the edge of the map. <laughs> it's always so funny to me. Um, but anyways, let's uh, um, we got our research done, so let's let's take a look at our new ships we can build before we uh go to fight the Kadesh. So, defenders, defenders have a whole lot of armor for a fighter class ship. 1,625. It's not as much as a Corvette, but it is a lot more than like an Interceptor or a Scout. So they are heavily armored fighter class ships with three turrets that shoot very fast and have very fast bullet movement, which makes them very effective against fighter class ships. We will be using these to fight the Kadesh because they are very, very effective. Um, and then we have our Ion Cannon Frigate, which is our po most powerful frigate class ship we can build. It costs 1,650. It is, well, next to Resource Controller, it is our second most expensive frigate class ship we can build. And it does 165 DPS with its Ion Cannon, where our Assault Frigates do 120. So more DPS, but they have a lot less health. They have 70,000 armor compared to 85,000. So they are very, they aren't vulnerable to attack, but they are a lot less health than the Assault Frigates. Because the Assault Frigates I've kind of made as the frontline, um, def not defense, but frontline um, tanks for the fleet. So they can't do as much damage as the Iron Can frigates, but they can survive a lot longer in combat. And field frigates, what I, which I actually haven't really played around too much with, I'm kind of excited to uh, test around with them in, in the next mission. Um, they they stop incoming fire from damaging um, your ships. And I think they redirect it to like a different location. So it's going to be very interesting to mess around with these and fight the Kadesh with them because I'm used to using the drone frigates. Uh, but yeah, but defenders have 16 DPS, which makes them higher than scouts, but not as much as interceptors. But they have um, faster attack speed and they have faster bullet movement, which means there's a higher chance their bullets are actually going to hit, our kinetic weapons are actually going to hit the, uh, um, the enemy. So... Yay! Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get ready to uh, jump to the next mission. This was a short one. Uh, mission 6 isn't really that difficult um, or that long. You just have to protect the mothership as asteroids come in to try to uh, destroy it. I may need to adjust the, uh, the asteroids a little bit more to make it more of a threat on the mothership because um, I think even if we weren't uh, attacking the ones that were directly in front of the mothership, we probably only would have got hit by four or five, which would meant the mothership would have won because uh, it takes 12 asteroids to destroy the mothership since she has 1.2 million health. But anyways, um, let's let's get going to the next mission. Auto docking. It's quick dock because we're not. I'm not waiting for everyone to get in line. Hyperspace initiated. And there we go. To the next mission. The Bentusi said, No one returns. Dun, dun, dun. Q scary music. Q creepy music. We get to go somewhere that no one has ever returned. It's gonna be fun slash terrifying. It's so pretty! It's so pretty! Anyways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and we will see how well this fleet can handle um, the hardcore version of the Kadesh in the next episode. It's going to be crazy. That's all I'm going to say. I have definitely made some improvements to the Kadesh and um, made it to where their fleets are 
a little bit more crunchier than they used to be, so it's it's going to be fun. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. If you did, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Sovan signing out. Hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.